It was Russell. He threw him down. What's going on with Russell anyway? People bully for lots of reasons. Maybe he's like that because he got bullied too. By who? Jack. He's in the fifth grade. Take Russell. Over five years ago, he was constantly bullied. No one did much to help him, and he didn't seek help from anyone. So instead of feeling helpless, he looked for power by hurting others. It worked for a while. Everyone knew who he was, and no one messed with him. But when people started standing up for themselves and others, his power went away. It all started when kids like Kara, Billy, and Carl took action. All that time last spring when Grant was pressuring you. Well, which is it? You could have come to us or talked to the coach about it. In the end, you did the right thing, Carl. I pick Russell. People can change. If I don't pick him, what kind of person does that make me? I've done a lot to help him. At some point, he's got to help himself. I'm Zach. Well, I'm Russell's brother. Why are you always gonna act like that? You're the one who's always acting. Why don't you act like you care for once? It can't be. He, he's... He's what? He's nice now? Pfft. Sorry, man. People don't change. How could I have thought I was helping? Or that he could change? Everyone thinks I set up the rage page. You're gonna tell me you didn't? Doesn't matter what I say right now, you don't trust me. Russell, I stood up there and defended you when no one wanted you on the team. When no one trusted you, I did. Is that what this means? Oh, Russell, I... I didn't write that. Someone hacked my phone, sent emails as me. They got done in half an hour, so I was able to get to the second half. Yeah, they definitely needed the help by the time you got there. Hey, Carol, what's up? Hey, Billy, Carl. What are we talking about? Stop. What are you gonna do, Jasper? Bring him up for me? You need a reason. Look, Andrew, my dad went to this school 20 years ago, and no one ever bothered him. Ever. My dad went to this school too. Do you want to do this or not? Why would you help me? I'm bored, and you're pathetic. What's your dad's name, anyway? Stop asking questions. Let's go. And his name is Russell. You're kidding. That's his father? That's the same Russell that threw down Dale? That bullied us all through fifth grade and sixth grade? The same Russell we tried to help, but, well... Ma'am. I haven't thought about him in like 20 years. Not since the Rage Page thing back in high school. I heard he was in the military. Billy, you also heard I was in China until we ran into each other at the farmer's market. Billy? Is that you? Oh, wow. Elliot? I thought you were in China. Oh, look at Andrew. Andrew. Oh, he, he likes, no, he I likes unicorns. He, 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 he
Oh, no, look at that smoke out his face. Oh, oh, he's he's like he a just came You have to do something. Fight back. Push him. Do something. Did we end up here? We graduated. We moved on. Half the people who gave us a hard time in school, we never saw again. Dad, he's not going anywhere. N neither am I. I'm stuck. Did you ask him to stop? I said what you said. I did what you do, but he kept going with it. Is that why you jumped on him? What else was I supposed to do? Besides, Jasper said it would work. I can tell him things will change, but that doesn't mean it'll be easy. He needs to learn to fight back in other ways. All through elementary, middle, and high school. How did we make it through? Carl, you've been pretty quiet. We had each other. Russell had us. He came up with us. From elementary to middle school, when he started to get better. But then, he went too far. He got kicked out of high school, and no more Russell. You still think about that? It wasn't your fault. I know. Well, I know that now. But we tried really tried to change him for the better. Others did too. But the thing about change is you have to actually want to change and work on changing. It's not just up to us. I told my son stories about when we were in elementary school. Like, like when we were the superheroes, pretending to be the bystanders. And in middle school, rumors spread like a zombie plague and and stress stacked up like a puzzle app. Dealing with cyberbullying felt like some kind of spy movie. Trying to help people who just didn't want to be helped. Stuck in their old habits or hanging out with people that didn't encourage them to make good decisions. Lost in peer pressure or social media. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you, you have ketchup on your face. Oh. Did I get it all? You got it. I was that better person in Russell's life. 
but in the end, I believe that it was him who posted those awful things online. And it wasn't. It was someone pretending to be him. And I let him down. You can't blame yourself for that. Russell had a reputation. He thought I saw the person he was trying to be. So did I. He couldn't trust me anymore. Even when some of you tried to convince him, it, it really got to me. Well, he lied a lot. He posted mean things online. He got into trouble. It's hard for people to look at him differently when that's the only way he showed them he could be. But I felt like I failed. It wasn't until I talked to my parents, or even talked to some of you guys. Getting it out of my head, that's what got me through it. And I really wish I would have done it sooner. Hanging out with people like Jasper makes you seem like one of them. One of them? Like he's some sort of... Oh. Why are you judging me? I'm not. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Someone like my dad now. Your dad sounds smart. You said you were smart. No one had to say it. I just am. You know, ever since you beat up Charlie, he hasn't bothered you anymore, so... I didn't beat him up. Yes, you did. Everyone is saying it. Being around Jasper is like putting on bug repellent. It, except it keeps away the um, kids instead of the bugs. Do you get it? Keep trying. It's almost funny. But that's not who I am. Just because I did it once, now everyone thinks that's me. We don't, or try not to. I didn't mean to say. Yeah, uh, I was only saying. Getting suspended and making everyone think you're going to beat them up isn't a good trade-off for getting Charlie to stop. So what do I do? You could stop hanging out with Jasper for starters. Why should he do that? I know he's really different, but... What about his dad? Well, what about his dad? We get where we are by means of the people stars, around us. us. We can follow, or we can lead. But not much is accomplished alone. And we can decide who's with us, or who we are. No one stops how that feels. So are we taking others down? Gosh, doing this is why I math by now. I'm doing the best I can. Why don't shut your? Right? You think teasing her is going to make her do any better? Well, no. At least I don't draw my nines back. I don't have my nines backwards. You do. Or are we lifting them up? Hey, if we argue, nothing gets done. If we make fun of each other, no one gets any better. If you want me to help you finish. Me first. No, me first. Me. No, me. Guys. Me. Are they selfish? I got a 100 on my math test today. How about you? Hang on, it's my swing. Get off. I was here first. Or are they selfless? Are you okay? You should go get some help. Zane, you're going to tell on me now? Um, no. You're fine, right? It's just a scratch. That's what I thought. And who did they decide to follow? No. We're going to get somebody. Let's go, Mackenzie. Zane, you can come if you want. And Gavin, was it worth it? Where does that leave us? Is that you? When faced with a choice, do we make the right one? Hi, Skylar. Hi, Gracie. Why'd you do that, Emma? I didn't. You just can't walk. I saw your leg go out. Didn't you just say you were... Shh. Uh, no, she didn't. I mean, it's not like... Come on, Gracie. Yeah, let's go, Gracie. Will others see this and find their own way? You're her. Let's go to the news. Excuse me? Is that you? Come on, Vanessa. We can become our own heroes and inspire others. Or at least refuse to give up who we are. Nah, you're terrible. Go away. Yeah, with your chicken arms. Guys, stop. Just let him play. Yeah, just throw me the ball, idiot. You're the idiot. No, you are. Stop. Yes. 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 Stop. Everyone stop. I just wanted to play with all of you. But what about what they said about you? Thanks for helping me, but not like this. Just let me handle it, okay? Hey, Bobby, why don't you just throw me the ball to see how bad my chicken arms really are then, huh? Do it.
But sometimes, no matter how hard we try, the temptation to follow the wrong influence is strong. Jane thinks she's so smart. I'm gonna steal her report card. And we could get caught up in something unexpected. If that happens, who have we gathered around us to help find our way out? Maybe we shouldn't. Lee, it's her. Put it back. No, give it, give it back. Why are you Look what you did. He didn't do it. You did. Nuh-uh, I'm gonna tell. You're gonna back me up, right? What if she blames me too? And who have we become? Is that you? Is that someone you know? Or will ever see again? Be careful in there. Kids in their cars, right? Yeah. This is the third time around the track. She had to ride the blue one. I guess it's faster. This is weird, and I might be wrong, but... Zach, is that you? Yeah. Wait. Wow. Oliver? Really? Oh, man, what? It's been 15, 20 years, huh? Longer, maybe. Uh, not long enough for this to fade. Oh man, what was that? After graduation? You all went to that party. Yeah. You scraped it jumping over the fence that night to impress Annabelle. Good memory. I haven't seen her much since then. You took your chance freshman year. What happened? With her or with you and I? Annabelle didn't last. Then there was Caden, and later Madison in college. Yeah, I met some friends I, when I went to a lacrosse clinic. I stopped playing lacrosse, joined the robotics team with some track and field teammates. Did we run out of things to talk about? I don't remember. When our friendship changed. We won state finals uh, with the robotics club. And then I stayed for community college and you. Yeah, I went to Syracuse. Not far, but... Far enough. Whatever made us grow apart. Yeah, it's, it's not our fault. It's not anyone's fault. It happens. Even to those who we think we're closest to. In a few seconds, I run to catch up with Annabelle, hopping the fence. It scrapes me deep. Yeah, I remember. We didn't see each other much after that. Yeah, I remember. We both kind of just moved on. I know. So have you, uh, have you seen Sam recently? Yeah, uh, I see him sometimes. Maggie's family? Every once in a while in the neighborhood. So, uh, what about your brother? Have you seen Russell? No. Uh, I think my mom stays in touch with him, but I haven't talked to him in years. It was you, Oliver. You showed me real brotherhood. Trust, loyalty, nothing like what Russell. That day at Grant's house, when we helped Maggie's little brother, you inspired me to say what I needed to say to Grant what I should have said to my own brother. Russell, Russell got, expelled got expelled because he turned his anger into violence. He hurt people. You gave him that anger. That's on you. What he chose to do with that anger, that's on him. I don't want to watch you make the same mistakes I made. I don't make mistakes. Then what happened with you and your sister and Maggie's brother? Laura started it, I finished it. I think the three of us need to sit down and talk about what happened. Go get your sister. Oh, why do we always have to talk about things? Can't we just move on? It took something terrible for me to realize 
what I was doing to others. I didn't see it before. I could have stopped it much sooner. But I only made things worse. That's because you're a jerk. I... I did a lot of bad things. I didn't... I didn't think about my reputation or how it would affect others. I did it to win at things that I didn't need. You and Mason both. And so what? He's making money on YouTube. But at the expense of others. And in a couple of years, no one will remember his videos or care about his opinion. He has no real power. It's all imaginary. It's all in his head. Disable the admin. I can't make changes until you do. Otherwise, it gets bogged down. Do you have the plans? Well, you know, you know what I want. I mean, you know what you're doing. You know, you've got it. You know. Do you have the schematics? Do you have a rough idea? kind of hoping more for is like a menu bar, like interactive task tab menu. Like, you know, if you if you push it, it goes whoop, and all your choices come up, you know, like customer service, mail, soup, whatever, I don't know. And then, here, I'll show you. Like, here, if you just, if you just, if you, if you can put the site up. Just point to where you want the foop. Find any interesting files on there, man? Interesting files. Mason, is that you? Anything that might, uh, incriminate me, and, uh, uh, get me sent to the principal's office? We'll deal with the foop later. So, uh, hey Mason, what's your job here anyways? Oh, okay, you're trying to find a way to take that away from me too? I don't... Mason, that was in high school, almost 20 years ago. Don't you like... You know, I had a pretty good thing going. You know, 200,000 subscribers. In high school. Mason, haven't you... I mean, I'm just gonna say it. Haven't you done anything since then? <laughs> yeah, but, but, well, look at you, right? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nice Shirt, right? Mr. Glasses, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nice Computer. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good luck in that bet. Uh, you're taking orders from Mr. Necktie back there with a with a whoop? I own my own networking and Wi-Fi company with web design and apps. And yet you still obsess over me. Hmm. Odd. I, I don't, you... You know, it's really sad. That's really sad. Wow, that you, you still, after all these years, you still can't stand seeing me succeed. Oh, oh, did, do you own the building? <laughs> No. No, I don't. I don't. Um, um, but that was your question, so I think I answered that. You don't need to question me any more than that. I know the man who owns it, but I do not own the building. I'm good for We went out to dinner the other night. It was really good. Oh my gosh. Almost 20 years later, and you still haven't let go of high school? What? <laughs> well, look at you. I'm a lawyer now. <laughs> yeah, okay, well... All right, yeah, well, we, we both have beards, so I, I, we're basically the same, I might as well be a lawyer. I already had to talk to my brother, but your family too, so I'll say it again. Save it, okay? Don't lecture me. You can't just shake off the reputation you had in high school. All right, you made just as many enemies and just as many mistakes. Mason, yeah, but the difference is I stopped. I grew. I changed. Oh, okay. For who? And why? For myself. Why did I change? I saw how Zach had to deal with his older brother Russell's mistakes. I didn't want my family to go through that. I, 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 uh, I, you know, I heard that Russell's on the street somewhere, right? Abandoned by his family. Some, some family Zach. Zach is, right? I heard he has a kid. He's not doing great. 
but he's not on the streets. He has work, seems to be doing okay, could be doing better. And Zach tried his best. Russell just didn't care to listen. Just like you right now. Best years of our lives? Well, right now, sure. But there are plenty more ahead. It doesn't mean we forget about the years behind us. But there are plenty of things out there to help make a better future. Not just for ourselves, but for those around us. <laughs> Jasper's talking about his dad like he's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Why are you guys making fun of Jasper? What are you going to do, tell on us like a little baby? Or beat us down like you did to Charlie? Tough guy now. <laughs> oh, he always even had that. <laughs> I think that's the best one. This one. No, this one too. What does that even do? Oh my gosh, you don't have this app? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, what app? This one. Oh, I don't have that app. Oh my gosh, you have to get it so we can talk on it. Why? The longer you talk, the more stars you get. And nobody knows it's you, so you can say whatever you want to whoever you want. Watch, you are done. Send. How much of our lives did we waste on screens? Who did we hurt? Who did we ignore? And what did we miss by disappearing inside our phones? you answer my text, Billy? Are you avoiding me? What? No, I didn't even, I mean... I sent it like two minutes ago. Oh, you mean the one I got right now? It took two minutes to get to you? Yeah, I don't even have any service around here. Look, no bars. Bars. Come on, no bars? See, look at this, bars! I got bars! No bars. Oh, hey, I have no bars right here, by the way. Bars. No bars. Bars. No bars. How did we get here? What is this place? We're all having lunch together about 20 years or so after high school. We're talking about this moment and others like it. So, I'm just a memory here? So you remember me? Delete my number. Why did you get so upset when waiting for my reply? I don't know, because I grew up in a time where everything was instantaneous and I never had to wait. So now I expect things to be done right away and my way. I got so caught up with likes, comments, followers, and streaks that I, I didn't realize what I was doing to others. I wasted so much time. Could have been out having new experiences instead of trying to get people to notice things that I had already done or never got around to doing. Oh no. What have I done? Monica, do you even remember who I am in 20 years? Actually, yes. Because it hurt. Just ignoring me instead of telling me you didn't want anything more than friendship. Leading me on, it stuck with me. And it affected how I saw myself. I had no idea. I really didn't. I mean, who cares what I think? I do. I wish I didn't, but right now I do. I did. It matters the way you talk to someone. What you say could last for years. Seeing all those perfect relationships in high school and I didn't have one. And then watching reality TV and reading books about the greatest romances, I wondered why I didn't get that. And then I saw someone I hadn't seen in a really long time and I found out that some of those perfect relationships weren't. Molly, is that you? the tickets to the show? I had no idea. You were, you were the lead. Playing two roles? Can you hold this for me? Sure. You are great. Oh, thank you. Come on. I gotta change. Okay. Yeah. I 
always thought of you and Jake as the forever couple. Is there forever anything back in high school? I guess you're right. 20 years ago it seemed so perfect, but now it just seems like playing house. <laughs> Not everyone has a hard time with it in high school, but most do, I think. And Jake and I were hardly perfect. We tried to be open, we talked about our problems, but it didn't last. You always seemed so happy. Well, seeming happy and being happy are different sometimes. So I put everything up front, I was totally honest with him, and we ended it. See, you say that, but I didn't really understand that that meant we were over. I thought there was still hope. I, I just thought that meant we had to work on things. I mean, I stayed up all night no thinking of ways No one told you to do that, Jake. Maybe not, but you were worth that much. I guess we're not really good at communicating with each other. Or maybe we just had problems listening. It's conversations like this that I didn't get to hear. Because it's a private conversation. Oh, please. This was 20 years ago. Where are you now? Do you even think about her anymore? Well, no. And where am I? I'm, I'm in New Jersey. What are you doing there? Shoes. I sell shoes. What are you doing here? What are we doing here? Uh, hold on. See? Everyone acts like everything is okay. And on social media, they post the perfect pictures with the perfect captions so no one can see the other side of things. Not until things blow up. I only asked where you went, and when you didn't answer, I- Kaylin, you texted my friends, my family, my coach. I mean, you scared them, again. How was I supposed to know you were at a movie? You didn't tell me. Kaylin, I'm not those other guys, all right? This is me. I, I need you to see that. I mean, I just can't do this anymore. Then you don't have to. We're done. Garrett? Is that you? Hey, I'm coming up the sidewalk. I couldn't find a place to park. <laughs> this isn't where I wanted to end up, you know. I keep on making the same mistakes. Thank you for coming to help. I know it's been a long time. I got most of your emails over the years. I hope I replied enough. Oh, no. Yes, you did. You I didn't expect you to reply at all, so thank you for whenever you could. All right, well, I'm outside. Hey, Kaylin, are you all right? I made a mistake. I made a mistake with you. The last thing we said to each other, I said the tassel on your hat was foofy, remember? Tassel on your cap? It was foofy. You unfoofed it. 
Thanks. But when we... We never really talked about it when we broke up. I was stuck in a pattern of being interested in guys who didn't like me for me. Just what I looked like. Or to control me. My dad, he never approved of any guy until you. He liked you, and it made me nervous. Scared, even. Sometimes it's hard to see what patterns you need to break. You have to find out what the right change is for you. I just got out of another bad one. He yelled a lot. Wouldn't let me go out with my friends. Each time, each time I would grab my car keys, and I told myself, don't, don't go back. But I do, because who else? Who else really, other than someone, someone more like you, Garrett? Where have you been? Hello? Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. You know what? Get out of my house. Everything that's here belongs to me now. Keep my makeup. Keep my shoes. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do with those? Pretend I'm still here. Pretend you can still boss me around. Well, I don't really have to do that anymore, now do I, Kay? It's even mine. What is the problem? Where have you been? I've been trying to talk to you. Kay? Kay! Where are you going? You can't just leave me. You're really gonna do this to me again? I once had people in my life who were easy to be around, who supported me, but who I ignored. Because I wanted to do things my way. I thought I knew best, but now... Hello, Dad? My father. My mother. Maybe you got through with the help from an uncle. A cousin. Some adult in your life. Someone you looked up to. Someone who didn't look down on you, but brought you along with them. Made you feel like you could do anything. Or at least, do something. It's as important to have that person in your life as it is to be that person in someone else's life. If that's what you want to do, Andrew, then yeah, I'll be right there. See you soon. Are you sure you have to leave? She'll be here any minute. My son just did something. Something different. I need to be there for him right now. No, no, no. It's fine. You got it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. And this time it won't take me 20 years. Ooh, I gotta be to the field pretty soon. I'm coaching youth league now, because one of the coaches just quit last minute, so. Is the team that tough this year? Well, no. The parents really like to think that their kids are the only stars, and they can be pretty tough on coaches and players, even though it's just a game. I made a game plan on the day of, and Got it done in half an hour, so I was able to get to the second half. Yeah, they definitely needed the help by the time you got there. Oh, hey, Carol, what's up? Hey, Billy, Carl, what are we talking about?
we're pushed. We fall, we climb. Some of us scramble, a few of us walk or even run. Stepping through doors, leaping across divides. We reach a place that isn't where we came from and maybe not even where we're going yet. But how did we face our challenges? What was that choice or that moment? Or who was that person that brought us here and helped shape who we are? My dad and his friends went to the school a few years ago. I learned a few things from their stories. But from listening to my friends and watching you, you were watching me? It's not my nice how they treat you. Yeah, so what? I can take them all. It doesn't bother me. My dad knew your dad. Yeah, so what? Does he want a prize? Thanks for helping me stand up for myself and fighting. But I don't think that's how I want to solve my problems. I am wondering if you want to come over and play. It's so weird. His model time is like 20 and a half. Oh my gosh. Hey, stop talking about my friend friend Andrew like that. Well, what are you going to do about it? Please don't. It's not worth it. Oh my gosh, I'm chill. I'm going to put it. What is he doing? He's still so All you had to do was use your feet. Weak. Nope. If I were weak, I'd get up in their faces and who knows what else. Well, I have a new Mario game. You wanted to come over. Yeah, sure, whatever. But only to play the game. So, Russell hasn't been around? Not for a while. He's a son now, but he rarely sees him. I tried to do my best as Uncle Zach, but Jasper only saw Russell when he saw me. So I couldn't do that much. He graduates from high school next week. It's crazy. Well, that's something Russell never did. Just like you never let him drag you down. Seems like Jasper found his own way, too. It's about being your own person, standing up for what you deserve, what you need, no matter what anyone else says. I learned that from people like you, Oliver. And what about Jasper? By aligning myself with people who see me for who I am and want me to succeed alongside them, I have made it here. And so have all of you. So now, think about who you can go out and inspire, comfort, listen to, and guide toward their own future. Thank you, and congratulations to all the graduates. Nice hat, Jasper. Jasper, good job. Who do we meet on any given day? How do we affect them? How do they affect us? And who do we all become in the future? We become what we allow ourselves to be, mixed in our experiences with others, good or bad. We can try as hard as possible to help but it was up to him to make the final choice for himself. Maybe he made the right decision on his own. I've only heard from others where he ended up. Well, where has Russell been all this time? I heard that Russell got kicked off a police force and works as a delivery man. I saw him working construction. I heard he has a kid. He's not doing great, but he's not on the streets. Uh, I heard Russell runs with a bunch of guys who rob convenience stores. What went wrong for him? Why would anyone decide that was a way to live life? To be someone everyone hates? That no one wants around? I hope he found something better than that. I hope he found something better than that. I hope he found something better than that. We had each other. We had each other. We had each other. I know Russell did bad things, but he's my brother and I love him. I try to be there for him. I saw him once about a year ago.
muscle. Is that you?